we just started. Welcome to this panel. For those who came a little bit late, my name is Taewon Gwak, chair of this panel. Also present my paper first, okay? Okay, this, uh, okay, now this is my uh, title, uh, my paper title, One Korea Unification Vision. I'm not, I, I don't like to use the Korean unification, but I like to say one Korea, one Korea, that means uh, one Korea, uh, the unification vision. Is, again, I use the uh, term vision rather than dream. Vision is a much, much future-oriented uh, uh, expression. Uh, my, my argument is, of course, you can see the one Korea unification vision through neutralization. Of course, of course, uh, I am uh, the uh, uh, chairman of Institute for Korean Peninsula Future Strategies. This, uh, this is belong to the uh, uh, Global Peace Foundation, Seoul, Korea. But my view does not <laughs> necessarily, <laughs> the, uh, it, of course, it <laughs> does not reflect the uh, uh, Global Peace Foundation. I, I want you to understand that. This is uh, solely my own, okay? Hopefully, hopefully, Global Peace Foundation adopt my view. That will be fantastic. But uh, again, uh, uh, what I'm going to tell you to report or present my paper is uh, solely my own view. I want you to uh, understand. Uh, very clearly at the beginning. Okay, this is a, uh, uh, you have a paper, so that uh, this is a table of contents, I'm going to talk about it. And uh, now, my argument, <laughs> that's a core argument. Uh, I say two Korea have uh, conflicting uh, unification formula or, or formulas, of the, of the two Korea. Now that's uh, so. So one Korea unification formula through neutralization uh, is could be an alternative uh, to the two Korea existing formulas formula. And the uh, third argument is roadmap for achieving five stage uh, neutralization unification is provided uh, uh, in my paper and to build to build a brand new uh, welfare unified korea okay that's uh, basic my argument so let's see i'm going to explain detail uh, uh, this uh, introduction uh, it's hard to read it, right? So I will going to, uh, again, summarize a few important points. You can, uh, uh, hopefully you can uh, quickly follow it. That uh, There are two Koreas on the Korean Peninsula, right? The, the, in the north, DPRK, official, official uh, uh, name uh, is a sovereign state, is a DPRK. Uh, DPRK stands for Democratic People's Republic of Korea, is North Korea. In the south is uh, ROK, Republic of uh, Korea. DPRK, as you know, is a nuclear state uh, threatening peace and security on the Korean Peninsula and in the Northeast Asia. So is it, it is getting stable under Kim Jong-un regime, we may, if we have time, we may talk about the current situation <laughs> in North Korea. And uh, in the South, President, uh, uh, President uh, Park Geun-hye in February uh, 2013 adopted a new the northern new policy toward North Korea, known as um, the Korean Peninsula Trust Building Process, 
process to improve hostile inter-Korean uh, relations. Now, uh, the, as I said, to Korea, to Korea have a different unification formula, and uh, in the in the in the north is the DFRK. DFRK. Uh, I will use the term DFRK. That means Democratic Federal Republic of Korea. Is a South Korean in the south. Uh, the official unification policy is Korean National Community formula, unification uh, formula. Uh, the, uh, because of conflicting unification formula, uh, I will explain a little bit detail why is uh, two formulas are in conflict and alternative to uh, existing unification formula is desirable. So I propose uh, unification formula through nuclearism uh, to neutralization. You got the point? I mean, that's <laughs> very uh, important to understand. Uh, we need a common unification formula, but there is no common unification. We have to make efforts to adopt the common unification formula, the alternative is unification formula through neutralization. Again, this is, uh, this is my argument. Uh, this is nothing to do with the uh, official position of Global Peace Foundation. I emphasize again, okay? Okay, next. Uh, all right, this is, uh, this is a North Korean unification formula. This is called Democratic Federal Republic of Korea. Korea, DFRK. Used to be Democratic Confederate Republic of Korea. That English, the initial English expression, but they, they don't, they are not, not use uh, Confederate, they use a Federal Republic of Korea. Uh, Korean language, Korea, Yambangje, Yambangje is a confederate means a Yanapje, but uh, Yambangje is correct. So, Federal Republic of Korea. Now, this, uh, this, uh, I, the Kim Il sung. Who is Kim Il sung? This, uh, of course, founder of <laughs> DPRK, right? Uh, Kim Il sung announced official DFRK plan in October 10, 1980. Okay, what, uh, what the essence of uh, DPRK formula? Okay, now, let's go move the, uh, who is the man behind the, the Kim Il-sung, right? Okay, very good. And the uh, DPRK formula is a federal system in which two regional government can coexist. In other words, South, North can coexist under one roof. That is Supreme National Federal Assembly and also Federal Standing Committee. This is a central government of DFRK. Now, now you got some idea uh, what they uh, really uh, uh, arguing, right? Okay, I'm going to move quickly. Now, this uh, uh, detailed explanation in my paper. Now, this is DFRK has DFRK has a problem. Has has a deficiencies. So. Uh, uh, the DFRK has uh, several uh, structural deficiency. Uh, I'm going to uh, cite a few for you for your better understanding. First, North Korea claims that DPRK is a complete form of federation, not interim step to the final federation form in the unification process. In fact, 
if the FRK is a final form, the so therefore uh, ROK cannot accept it primarily due to preconditions, preconditions for implementing it. So what are the preconditions? There's a there's a five preconditions I listed. Uh, at least five preconditions for establishing establishing the DFRK, Democratic Federal Republic of Korea. Uh, that is, uh, again, South Korea cannot accept that. For example, resignation of ROK government, okay? And then evolution of anti-communist policy in the South elimination of national security law in the South, and the U.S. troop withdrawal from the South, and uh, rele uh, release of political prisoners, including communists in the South. So South Korea cannot accept these preconditions, right? So, so that's why uh, the, uh, the South Korea cannot accept it. Uh, South Korea cannot accept North uh, plan and uh, uh, the North Korea cannot accept South plan either. That's why uh, I'm looking for alternative formula. That's why here, one Korea formula through neutralization. This is, this is a, uh, hopefully both agree to the common ground. Okay, then uh, let's take a look at uh, briefly the uh, South Korea official uh, the unification formula. Who is this man behind? Huh? Do you know? Okay. No Teu, present No Teu. Present No Teu, uh, the scholars in the field need to reevaluate his achievement. He, he is initiate the first engagement policy toward, toward North Korea and also communist state in late 1980s. So it's, uh, I highly praise him for his, uh, the initiation, initi uh, the initial uh, the, uh, engagement, what I call the engagement policy. Um, uh, but, uh, you know, uh, historians underestimate his, uh, uh, his performance. But anyway, he introduced the Korean unification formula. It's it called the Korean National Community, uh, KNC. Now, this KNC is an official policy of the Republic of Korea, okay? Even, even today, Park uh, observe uh, this uh, official uh, policy. Uh, I'm, I'm, uh, now, then next, uh, I'm going to, what is the KNC formula? KNC uh, formula, of course, uh, over the years, uh, KNC formula uh, has to be modified, modified, and uh, President Kim Young sam of course, after Noteo stepped down, President Kim Jong Sam uh, modified the uh, KNC unification formula, uh, proposing national commu uh, national community as a new paradigm in unification policy. So the ROK proposed blueprint for unified Korea through inter-Korean confederation, inter-Korean confederation, and that was that is, of course, um, uh, very innovative then. And uh, official, uh, the, the KNC has three stages. It's the first stage, inter-Korean recon uh, inter reconciliation and cooperation stage. Second stage, the South-North Korean Confederation. Third stage is, of course, uh, establishment a single unified state. As I said, North Korea cannot accept 
this. This is very di different from North Korea uh, unification formula. All right. Then you all next, uh, you all remember this picture before, right? Who is that? that, that? Kim Jong-il. And uh, on the right, uh, 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 Kim Dae-jung. OK? And they had, uh, for the first time, the first summit meeting in June 2000. So that was a historic event of each other and so on. They agreed. This is the only one, South, North, agreed on unification formula, paragraph two of the joint statement. This is a very important one. And uh, I'm going to take a look at second paragraph of uh, joint declaration states, I quote, acknowledging that there are common element in the South proposal for confederation and the North proposal for federation of a lower level, uh, lower stage as the formula for achieving this, uh, I don't like to use uh, reunification, but uh, is an official document is listed, reunification. The South and North agreed to promote reunification in that direction in the future. Now that's a, that's a very significant. So for the first time, both leaders signed this document. There's a one important common unification uh, formula. Okay, now, uh, of course, this declaration is a great departure from the past, symbolizing the end of the ideological uh, argument. Okay, let's uh, take a look at briefly what is a lower level federation. And uh, low level federation, uh, DPRK proposed, uh, symbolized peaceful coexistence between two Korean states. The two, or, uh, two uh, regional government on the, of course, DFRK plan. Please come over here. Oh, you can sit. No, okay. Welcome, uh, President uh, So I uh, appreciate you coming in today. And uh, so, the low-level federation, low-level federation is basically under this concept, both regional government can coexist, recognize each other, and uh, given uh, sovereign right. So it's a kind of very much similar to the South assertion of confederation, okay? But North Korea argued that they should be what he called unification council on the top. But they didn't spell out detail. That's the problem, OK? So let's, uh, I, I will try to make a, a simple. Now, now next, uh, what is uh, South proposal for confederation? As, as I said, very similar to low level of low level of <coughs> federation, okay? So this is, uh, is of course, uh, the allocate proposal inter-Korean confederation on June is in fact second phase of allocate unification formula. That is a, a confederation. Right, now, this is uh, one thing is uh, uh, to make a long story short, uh, The allocate proposal for inter-Korean confederation <coughs> assumes one nation, one state, two systems, and two government, and two Koreas will uh, possess their respective defense diplomatic rights. Um, so further, two Korea will have 
in the Korean summit meeting, in the Korean parliamentary meeting, and in the Korean cabinet meeting, and et cetera, et cetera. So it's, uh, uh, it's uh, really understand in, in the Korean confederation, the second stage uh, of the uh, Korean official unification policy, as I explained. Okay, now, uh, so, okay, what are the common features of the two proposals? Um, the first uh, two proposals are based on principle of peaceful, peaceful uh, unification, okay? And the second two proposals have interim stage, interim stage in the unification process, uh, not the final stage of Korean unification. I want you to understand this very clearly. And uh, third, common feature is North Korea proposal for low level uh, federation, uh, low level federation granted diplomatic defense rights to two regional governments, South, uh, South Korea government and North Korea government. Two regional government would participate in, in the central government on equal basis, but the national unification, North Korea use reunification. Uh, Korean Unification Council must, uh, uh, must uh, uh, exist to supervise, uh, supervise of course, two regional government. Again, uh, the uh, National Unification Council was, uh, has not been spelled out uh, in detail by North Korea. And that's, uh, um, then uh, what are the difference? Next slide. What are, what are the differences between two Korea unification um, formula? And uh, uh, for uh, the first North Korea DFRK plan aimed at achieving one nation, one state, two system, and two government, while the South Korea formula is designed to achieve one nation, one state, one system, and uh, one government. That's a difference. And uh, second, North Korea was originally, when they proposed, uh, was designed to prevent unification through absorption by the South. Well, that's a, a very important, I found out. And third difference is DPRK formula has, as I told you before, preconditions for implementing the North Korean plan. South formula does not have any preconditions. That's a difference. Uh, now, um, the DFRK plan the fourth uh, difference, uh, both differences. Uh, the effort plan has central government, while South Confederation plan is interim stage to unify the Korea. Hence, it does not have central government. And uh, next slide, I'm going to, going to show you that the, the uh, comparison uh, to Korea unification formula, okay? Uh, there's a name, KNC, and DFRK, DPRK, basic ideology, uh, ROK, liberal, democracy, Juche, based on Juche ideology, unification by the old people, proletariat class, unification. Unification principle is uh, in the South, independence, peace, and democracy in the North. Uh, they, the principles are independence, peace, and the great, great national uh, unity, as of course South doesn't want to use great national unity you, instead uh, to use uh, uh, democracy. And the unification process is, of course, as I see it, in the South is a three phases, as uh, I mentioned, uh, reconciliation, cooperation, phase, 
and then confederate second phase confederation phase third is unified single state and also dprk has also uh, the interim stage that is low level uh, federation and then low level uh, this is an interim stage i argue that uh, uh, to achieve dfrk this is uh, of course uh, democratic federal uh, republic of uh, korea and uh, again that's most important and interim stage confederation and dprk uh, has low level federation and uh, uh, uni uni uh, fo format of unified korea you can see a uh, single state but uh, in North Korea is a two regional government. And the future vision of unified Korea, this is, uh, of course, is uh, very important. And uh, is a freedom, South plan has a freedom, welfare, human dignity, democratic state, and the North is a non-aligned neutral state. Okay, um, now, I timing running out uh, quickly I will go over my argument here one Korea formula through neutral uh, neutralization regime building uh, I, I mentioned earlier uh, that uh, the two Korean uh, two Korea's uh, unification plans or formula formulas are incomp incompatible, <coughs> in conflict. So therefore, I argue here, new Korean unification formula through neutralization. Through neutralization as a, I propose as an alternative. As again, a lot of people in Korea uh, doesn't like my idea. Oh, of course, uh, they, they worrying about unification formula, uh, it, it require uh, the uh, U.S. troop withdrawal, something like that. So I, I don't advocate that point at all. However, they misunderstood, uh, of course, neutralization plan, they don't like it anyway. So uh, I'm fighting very hard to make them understand my uh, plan. Okay, uh, let's go move to quickly. Uh, I, the, I, uh, of course here that I argue that we have to uh, build the peace through neutralization, uh, the, the regime building on the, on the Korean Peninsula. And uh, uh, I'm going to skip this. Um, so we have to, uh, this is what I call the PNKP. Uh, the, the one, two, three, third one, the uh, new, uh, neutralization of Korean Peninsula will be in the best interest of the uh, Korean people uh, and the four major powers resolving intra and inter-Korean ideological conflict and the promoting peace and stability in the Northeast Asia. This is, this is at least, uh, you know, uh, in short, I want to understand neutralized peace regime on the Korean Peninsula will be achieved if there is a national consensus. We have to build a national consensus uh, in Korea first uh, on Korean unification through neutralization in the south and the north. Long way to go. And I'm not saying that this, uh, this is uh, my unification vision in the future. Okay, now, uh, this is uh, the, uh, uh, the neutralization regime building as an alternative. As uh, neutralization uh, essentially designed as a means of the promote the national reconciliation of a harmony of interest, peace, and unification on the Korean Peninsula. In the present Northeast Asian security environment, four major powers 
you can see four major powers, are unwilling to support Korean unification, uh, primarily because of their interests are in conflict. Okay? Uh, however, neutralization, unification will benefit all parties concern, concerned to Korea's and the four powers. So therefore, uh, the neutralization, in my view, is based on assumption that the uh, four major powers would prefer unified, neutral, independent, and peaceful Korea to a divided, unstable uh, Korea. Hence, in my view, four major powers are likely to support neutralized, unified Korean Peninsula, which will be in their best interest. I, I hope the Professor Cheng and the Professor Kaseda are going to talk about my uh, proposal from the Chinese and Japanese uh, perspective in a minute. Okay, now next one is very important. Why I argue? Why I argue neutralization? What is the rationale, rationale for neutralization on the Korean Peninsula? I, I, I cited four, four perspectives. Of course, number one, uh, from geopolitical perspective, Korean Peninsula has been victim of uh, balance of power politics uh, among major powers surrounding Korean Peninsula for many centuries because of geopolitical uh, strategic location. Uh, thus, neutralization will liberate Korean Peninsula from the balance of power politics. That was my first argument. Second argument is from four major powers' perspectives, the neutralization would be in the best interest for major powers. Hence, they will be very supportive, okay, of the neutralized, denuclearized, unified Korean Peninsula. And then the third, uh, third uh, point uh, from perspective to Korea's. Uh, I consider neutralization uh, will be means to resolve uh, intra-Korean conflict, what we call the South-South conflict, is a nam nam gal uh, because um, uh, this is very important. We have to, uh, at least the neutralization could weaken ideological feud in the South. At least that's my argument. Fourth, from unification formula, as I explained to you, there are two conflict, two conflicting unification formula, so we need some alternative. That's why I arguing unification through neutralization. Okay, um, now, the, then how to achieve? How to achieve neutralized welfare, one Korea state. Now this is a, this is a, uh, at least this is a very, uh, my, uh, the, uh, the core argument. Who is that gentleman over there? Anybody? You can either, Son Hakkyu, who is senior advisor to Democratic Party. Last year, he, he, uh, during presidential campaign, he made, uh, he made a proposal for unification through neutralization. Of course, uh, uh, we are very happy. Particularly, I am so happy about that because at least I have uh, one, one, uh, my, one of my colleagues, he's a political scientist, and uh, uh, he, uh, I don't know whether he will be president. If he become president, my proposal will be <laughs> very quickly accepted. I hope so. Uh, that's uh, this. Uh, I uh, I have a five stage 
neutralization unification formula for constructing unitary, unified, neutralized welfare state. And I'm going to explain very briefly. Uh, that's uh, OK. Now, this is uh, the each stage, each stage. Uh, this is, uh, is a road map, what I call the action plan for uh, achieve, uh, the, uh, achieving five stage neutral unification uh, formula. This, uh, this, this uh, first stage, um, since you have a text if you're interested, in the, the neutralization preparation period. And uh, I'm going to go really go real fast because uh, uh, time shortage. And uh, second stage, inter-Korean nuclearization, uh, the unification formula agreement. South North must sign a neutralization uh, agreement. And the third stage is uh, international. International uh, neutralization treaty should be concluded between two Koreas and the four major powers. Now, this uh, stage is uh, very uh, uh, important. Fourth stage neutralization constitution should be drafted, approved by Koreans, and the fifth stage general election and uh, establishment of one, uh, one Korea stage. Now, Now, this, uh, this is a requirement for realization of five-stage unification through neutralization. I cited three. Political will of the two Korea top leaders is absolutely required. This is a, if you don't have political leaders are not interested in this program, there will be no unification through neutralization. And also, second, requirement, South, uh, South and the North must take initiative. Again, uh, we cannot rely on <laughs> major powers. South and North must, particularly South Korea must take uh, a leading role, is of course. And uh, there's a third requirement. Uh, again, uh, uh, we have to develop this uh, mutual trust, okay, uh, here listed the first, uh, first uh, stop their arms race, avoiding military confrontation and gradually engage military security confidence building between two Korea and uh, to normalize Korean relations by reducing tensions on the peninsula. Of course, uh, these are the three major requirements. Okay, conclusion. Quickly, there's a, there's a unification, Korean unification vision is again, as I said, not dream, but the future vision. It's a long way to go. It's a, it's a rough and a difficult road uh, to the uh, peaceful unification. Now, Second uh, is, of course, a nuclear issue must be resolved, all right? And then, uh, of course, peace building, peace, peace structure should be built on the Korean Peninsula. And, uh, and uh, uh, next, of course, Korean people should take initiative, play key roles in uh, making, uh, of course, a great effort to achieve the uh, uh, Korean unification. Uh, as I said, it's a long way to go. Yeah, so we have to plan ahead. So uh, thank you very much for your attention. Thank you.